Today I'm going to show you how I did this hyper-realistic eye in charcoal pencil. For those of you that are new here, my name is Michelle Morius and I create art tutorials that are fun, easy, and accessible for everyone. If you're returning, then welcome back and thanks for watching. For my materials today, I am drawing on a Strathmore 400 series Bristol smooth paper. I'm using a soft charcoal pencil, a blending sponge, an artist chamois, and blending stumps. And that's pretty much it for materials. So it's very basic. And now we're just going to go in and we're going to start to lay down a little bit of charcoal. And then we're going to use our tools to kind of move it around and manipulate it around the paper. So I'm just going over my basic outline with a little bit of charcoal. And then I'm going to go in with my um, makeup brush and I'm just going to soften it and smudge it around um, the paper. And in this exercise, really your erasers are gonna be your best friends. So your kneaded eraser and a stick eraser um, and an electric eraser, if you have one, are all very handy tools to have as well. Um, but it's very basic. So I'm going in now and I'm just kind of mushing in that uh, charcoal pencil with a very inexpensive Ma uh, clean makeup brush and I use these a lot in my graphite drawings and my charcoal drawings and it just really moves that material around the paper and you can manipulate it um, very easily and it softens the edge so nicely it almost does the blending for you. I'm going into the crease of the eye. That's the piece of skin that actually makes up your eyelid and there's usually a crease um, there and you want to make sure that you have that nice shadow. Now around the pupil it's going to be a little bit darker of a line but I don't want to make it a really defined round circle. It's always um, maybe a little bit more blurry around because um, your eyeball isn't um, a perfect circle and it's it, it kind of um, shades outwards into the white of the eye. So you want to make that a little bit blurry. And then where the upper lid covers the eyeball, you're going to have a heavier shadow. So I'm trying to put in some charcoal there, and then we're going to blend it out with a blending stump. There is no right or wrong way to use charcoal. Um, you can find what method works best for you. I prefer to lay down the material and then manipulate it with my tools. Um, other people like to do a little crosshatch. Some people like to use several hardnesses of charcoal. I prefer the soft charcoal and I like to kind of move it around and kind of get my hands into it and smudge it. Um, and that's just the way I like to work. I, I use this method in my portraits as well. So you'll see me put down material and then I'll take it away with a kneaded eraser or a stick eraser and then I'll put it back down. And this just, um, I find gives me a lot more uh, flexibility and gives me a really, really smooth blend. So I'm going in with my electric eraser and you can see it really brings up the white of the paper. Um, and this is just one of my tools in my tool bag that I use and I get a lot of um, really cool effects with this electric eraser. It's not an expensive tool, but if you do a lot of graphite or charcoal drawings or even color pencil drawings, it's really invaluable to have and it's a real game changer. Um, they run about 15 US dollars. Um, you can maybe find some even uh, cheaper online. When you're doing the detailing in the pupil of the eye, you want to work from the very center of the eyeball out. So your spokes want to come from the center to the out and keep going around from the center to the outside of the eye. Um, if your lines are going in the wrong direction or in the wrong angle, um, it's going to look really strange. So as you see, I just pulled all that material out with the electric eraser. I'm going to go back in with my brush and I'm going to um, 
soften it out and then I'm going to go back in with more charcoal and add more detail. So it really looks like the eyeball has multi um, levels in it, um, like a real eyeball it has some threads and things in there and I will um, try to emulate that using my eraser and, and adding in with my brush and my blending stump. On this particular eye drawing, there is a nice bright white highlight, but I do want to add in some of the reflections of the eyelashes above it because they're going to reflect in that um, bright white highlight. So this just adds to the realism. And I'm going in and kind of um, reinforcing some of those spokes and threads in the eyeball. So I'm adding in a little bit more of uh, charcoal in there. And your eyeball has a specific kind of pattern. Everybody's eye is similar. Um, no two eyes are the same. Um, but if you just kind of look in the mirror and then try to duplicate what you see, um, your tools will help you. I'm going in with my brush and I'm reinforcing that shadow on the eye that the upper lid is casting on the eyeball itself. So you definitely want the upper part of that eye to be um, in a little bit of shadow there. And you'll see, I'm going to go into that tear a hundred times and I'm going to put charcoal down and I'm going to take it out with the eraser until I get um, a really realistic looking water drop there. I'm going in with my sponge and I'm just adding a little residual um, charcoal that's left on the sponge around the eyeball just to um, make the skin, you know, give it a purpose that, that the skin is there. And I'm going in with that electric eraser and I'm adding in a little bit of a water line on the bottom of that eye um, because there's a lot of wetness in that eye and because the eye is crying there's going to be a little water line on the bottom there and I'll go in with my eraser and just pick that out almost down to the white of the paper. So we're not using any jelly roll or anything we're just using the actual white of the paper as the bright highlight in this case. So you want to have enough charcoal down as a little bit of a base layer on everything and that way when you do pick that highlight out with the eraser it's really going to show up nice and bright and white. Now when it comes to eyelashes your eyelashes are not evenly spaced out they tend to be in clumps of twos or threes they do overlap one another in spots um, so you don't want to make them even all the way around the eye and you don't want to make them straight. They're going to curve around with the curve of the shape of the eye. And the bottom lashes as well, same thing. They go in clumps of two or three. But there is a thickness to the skin underneath the eye. So the eyelashes don't come from the uh, line that's right below um, where the water line is. They're going to be a little bit down so that you're showing that little bit of thickness of skin there. Same thing on the top lid. You're not going to see it on the right hand side, but on the left hand side you're still you're seeing a little bit of the thickness of that eyelid. So your eyelashes are going to come from a little bit above that area. So like every drawing, you want to really use a full range of values. You want to have your darks be dark enough, so I'm darkening this pupil right here. Um, you want to definitely pop your highlights, and we're doing that with the eraser down to the white of the paper. And you want all of your mid-range tones as well to be represented in this drawing. Um, and just going to add to the realism. So now I'm reinforcing that shadow that the um, upper eyelid is casting on the eye. And we're really just pushing our values at this point. And this is where things really start to pop and um, really look realistic. So you want to just kind of fine tune everything and see where you need to um, really push the value, add a little more darkness or pop another highlight. 
Um, you can add the little veins in the white part of the eye at this stage. Um, and you don't want them to be really lines, they really a little bit more like a shadow. And you can do that with your blending stump. And I'm just going back in and adding a little bit more detail into those threads of the eye and we'll soften this out as well. But what this is doing, because I've done this several times now, is it's actually giving us the look of um, a layered, um, the layers inside the eyeball. And so I'll put the material down, take it away, put it down again, take it away, and it's actually creating these, these very um, believable layers in that pupil. I'm just going in now with my stick eraser and cleaning up those highlights and we're going to just kind of fine tune everything and the needed eraser just you can pick out some little spots and we're really getting a nice rounded three-dimensional eye. I really struggled when I started drawing again um, to get a realistic looking eye and I just kept practicing and practicing and just keep, kept drawing and trying different things and and I just found this way that this works with these tools and the charcoal is so lovely and quick. Um, I'm going in with my um, stick eraser and I'm just adding a little bit of white to the ends of the eyelashes and it just adds a little bit of realism to those eyelashes as if the light were um, kind of bouncing off the ends of them. And now we're just going to clean everything up with that um, electric eraser going back into that tear and we're just kind of at the end of our project. If you'd enjoy drawing with me today, please leave me a comment below. I do enjoy hearing from each and every one of you. Please consider subscribing to my channel and happy art.